Learning a new skill is literally brain-altering. Neuronal circuits in the brain are rewired as we struggle to pull off something we've never done before. This so-called plasticity, which makes learning and memory possible, is regulated by a vast array of signaling molecules. These include transcription factors, molecules that control which genes are expressed at a given time. Tracking how transcription factors correlate with neuronal activity patterns during learning is therefore one way to understand plasticity. But while researchers have previously found that transcription factors are vital for learning and memory, it was impossible to monitor their activity in the living brain. Until now. Researchers reporting in Neuron have developed a biosensor capable of visualizing the activation of the transcription factor cyclic AMP response element binding protein, or CREB. CREB is known to be important in mediating brain plasticity, but it had never been studied in concert with neuronal activity certainly not at the level of a single cell. The team designed their biosensor to track CREB activity that occurs during plasticity. Loading the sensor into lab-grown viruses allowed them to track that action into live mice, including during imaging sessions, when the mice were exposed to visual stimuli such as movies. By monitoring both CREB and calcium in individual cells, the team could precisely capture the interaction between neuronal activity and CREB. Then they tracked CREB activity in the somatosensory cortex, which is important for detecting tactile stimuli from the mouse's whiskers. They found that CREB activity was increased after the mice spent a few days in an enriched sensory environment, which indicates that it is possible to track plasticity in the mouse brain over time. Interestingly, they found that visually evoked CREB activity was higher in the visual cortex of a mouse reared in the dark. That type of sensory deprivation is known to induce plasticity-related changes, possibly through CREB, but the protein's role has remained something of a mystery. The team's biosensor enabled them to watch high CREB activity unfold shortly after sensory deprivation and before a steady dwindling of neuronal activity. Taken together, these results show that experience can shape the circuits in the brain by modulating the interplay between CREB and neuronal activity, rather than simply elevating neuronal activity by itself. In the future, the results from this study could be generalized to study the many other mechanisms and molecules that rewire the brain.